Should I scare you? No. Okay. Oh man, I was going to have Peyton come and scare you. I was going to have her hide in the closet. Is she there right now? No, she's not. Are you sure? No, I'm positive. I just didn't have enough time to get it done. So. Is Ryan here? No. <laughs> no I'm now I'm just going to be paranoid the whole video. Spooky, scary skeletons. Shivers down your spine. Hey guys, happy spooky. Why <laughs> the front? Happy spooky season! Yay! And it is chilly this morning. It's a cool 72. It's gonna be 90 by the afternoon, but we're gonna take what we can get yeah. in Florida. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, so this is the October request video, and um, let's take a moment and let's appreciate. Karen's outfit. Karen, step back. Oh, stop! Look, you, know, you look so cute. You look so cute. Back so up. this was a skirt that we um, that we got from that Let's estate see, sale. Um, oh, don't look at my shoes though. I'm not matchy matchy. I just it's it's Florida, so I'm wearing just sandals. Um, but yeah, and so then Sarah was going through um, some inventory, and she was like, oh, "Look at this orange skirt. This looks like it would come, it would fit you. This so looks like your style." And I said, "That's crazy. Let me just try it on." And then it fit, yeah, and I was perfect. like, "I'm gonna." It's perfect. So I'm ready. I for thought her. I was bringing it with my little Halloween dachshund brooch, and the Karen showed up looking like a like. A and this is this is from um this is mine. Sorry guys, this is not for request. So what is your request <laughs> for these little? Hair? No, no, these oh, are not. Request. These are going in the Halloween box. Oh, all of them? I thought we were saving a couple. No. Let me decide. Okay. So, so I guess. So I mean, uh, I guess. We'll see how well the Halloween boxes sell on okay. the fourth. The fourth. Yes. So that you're watching this on the first. So, still request if you're loving them, but I feel like these are going to be like, these are going to go so fast. Well, maybe, maybe not. But, but so what, um, what we did is we took these, if you remember, these were like, they were the past, so we got probably like, like a hundred, we got like a hundred of these and like probably 60 of them, um, were browned, um, stained, they were missing beads, um, they were ripped a little bit. So, but we were kind of, we still got a good price. So even just the ones that were good to go, like we were like, yes, we'll just take the lot. Um, and then, but we decided to dye them black and add on a spire brooch. And we are actually going to be using some of the um, other ones because we still probably have like 20 left. Um, and we're gonna do it for Christmas mm -hmm. as well. We don't know what color yet. We don't know if we're gonna do red or green or gold, gold or silver. Or... And then we'll do like a little Christmas brooch. So we'll have little, um, fascinators for Christmas as well. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And so that was sorry. That was a long. We could. Explanation. We could. You do the for request. I have to go back through and just kind of see. I mean, if you if you love them, then request them and um, just you know, it's, I mean, it's the same as everything else. Like, yeah. You might, you might not get it. Um. Okay. So I am Sarah, and this is Karen, and it's the October Redbird request video. Um. We are not taking on any new Lorene boxes this month for the clothing boxes. Um. It is harder for us to source the clothing. Um, if you've been following us for a while, you know, we've been doing this for over five years now. You keep that. stepping back and I feel like, hi, I'm Karen the Giant. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, so if you've been following us, we've been doing this for a little over five years. The boxes have changed over those five years and, um, and it's just, you know, it's an ebb and flow depending on like what's going on in the world and, um, and if we're making enough money on each box. Um, the Lorene's have gotten in the last couple months just with shipping. Um, finding the items, finding the items at good prices, finding items, um, you know, whatever. Um, it's, it's just gone up and uh, we do not want to raise the price of the boxes, but we really just can't afford to take on any new Lorraine's right now. We need to stick with who we have, um, which we're pretty much maxed out anyways, mm -hmm. and just make sure that we have enough items for them. And this month might be the start of more people getting emails saying that we do not have enough items for you. The estate sale that we, that we bought out a couple months ago was like a godsend because this conversation was the conversation we were going to have to have about three months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, and the estate sale has made it so that we only have to have it this month. And we're pretty confident that this month um, we're gonna be able to style everybody who we currently have for Lorene's. Um, but something else that is fun is that we are allowing Marie's to request clothing this month and probably moving forward. It's going to be different types of clothing items. The Marie's will not get things like, and I think we said this last month too, that you're not gonna get things like the, you know, like a 40s dress, dress or anything, any ball gown type thing, um, anything heavy because shipping fees have to, um, you it's know. It's more like 
the the blouses. Yeah, so blouses and shirts. Seventies, eighties blouses. Well, and typically it needs to be what we show for request. So like if if we show something and it is your size, or send us your sizes and we'll see if it's your size. But um, because part of the other reason that the Lorene is more expensive is because of the time that it takes for us to actually style it, and um, it takes significantly less time to style a Marie than it does a Lorene. So it's not like we're going to start asking Maries to add in their measurements. It's simply if we show something in the request video that you love go ahead and request it. Um, and typically, again, it's gonna be like blouses, skirts, lingerie, stuff like that. We will make sure moving forward, we always show that stuff. So, um, you know, and then, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll tell the Lorene's, if you're a Lorene and you see like two blouses or something that you love and you're like, I don't want anything else, I want these two blouses. If I can have these two blouses in my Marie, downgrade me to a Marie this month and you'll save $50. So um, just something, something to think yeah. about. Um, okay, to request an item. You will screenshot the items that you love in this video and on Instagram. Everything will be posted on the first, um, like before what? What time are you gonna post Instagram, do you think? Like before 10-ish? Oh yeah, yeah, so. Okay. Um, so like before 10. Yeah. It'll be, the first is Saturday? Saturday? Is it Saturday or Friday? I think, I, I think it's, I think it's Saturday. Okay. Um, and. Uh, oh no, it's Friday, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay. Yeah, so everything will be posted before 10 a.m. on Friday. Okay. And um, so screenshot everything you love, send it in one email to info at redbirdvintagebox.com with your name and October requests in the subject line, your full name. Um, and um, and then if you are a returning subscriber and you wanna be charged early and get your box a little bit early, you can say charge now, Michelle Rivero's September or October requests. Um, and, and we'll get that done. I will say Karen is going away this weekend and, um, and I am actually just spending the weekend with my family. So even though, I mean, I'll be here on Friday. Um, so I might answer a couple of the charge now emails, but otherwise it'll probably be Monday before we get to yeah. the charge now emails. Um, so don't fret. Yeah. Don't fret. Don't be like, Oh no, did they get it? Cause we did. We got it. We and, will and, email you regardless. We haven't heard yeah. from you by like or if you haven't heard from us by... I'd say by the end of next week. By the end of next week, yeah. If you haven't heard from us, then go ahead and shoot us an email. But, um, like, just saying, if you're charged now, just saying, I was charged now, did you charge me? Um, there are mm -hmm. so many things happening with the post office right now. Um, there are so many different forms that are needing to be filled out for international shipping. Shipping charges are going up significantly. And then the article just came out. I think I sent, I think I sent it to Ryan only. That, um, that it basically said get ready for higher shipping yeah. fees and longer wait times. Um, I, I made a comment in the in the um, damage sale video this last weekend, if you watched it, that we, I wasn't gonna be shipping to Australia, um, Norway, and I think Germany. Um, we just had issues and the problem is that, um, you know, we charge you, I think it's between 24.50 and like 34.50 for shipping yeah. internationally. Um, and then we also like, you know, the packaging and everything that goes into it is probably between like six and ten dollars for packaging. Um, because that's half the fun. So um my point is that if your box gets returned to us, um because customs doesn't accept it or because it just got lost mm -hmm. in transit somehow, um, we're not going to we don't make you pay those like we're not like, oh well sorry, you're out, you know, thirty-five dollars in shipping and also it costs us ten dollars for this packaging. So it's like forty five dollars that, that we're out of and it's happening it's happening too much. So that um and I know one of our current subscribers had emailed about the sale and said, Oh no, you're not shipping, you know, to Australia anymore and I said, No, that's not it. I was like, It's just for this particular sale where stuff is already so cheap, but yeah. um just have that in your mind that shipping times are gonna take a long time. We have had in the past three months more weird things happen with boxes than in the entire five years um, that we've been in business. And I've had really weird things happen with um, product that I have ordered in that has just gotten lost. Um, two boxes just lost. One of them finally made its way back to the sender like a month and a half later. Yeah. Um, it, you know, so just, just keep know, it in mind. Just keep it in um, mind. Um, um, yeah, feel free to email us if for some reason you didn't get your, you know, tracking, but just know, yes, some things are taking a little bit longer than expected, yeah. and then now we're reaching the holiday peak season, so, it's gonna you take know, USPS is going to be a while, so, um, um, 
You know what? Uh, I wonder that. if we should show Christmas brooches on Instagram. I was just thinking that that I was okay. like, if we want, um, Let's honestly, like do that. If you're wanting, if you're wanting anything Thanksgiving, Christmas, go ahead because we have stuff yeah. in. We're already organizing for Christmas. Requested this month, and I'll go ahead and I'll pull some stuff for Christmas requests as well, and throw those aside for you. And um, yeah. Yeah, it I is something you think. Right so, so if you have like a holiday party December second, yeah. you know, just something to to think about that if you wanted, you know, a fun, yeah, sparkly brooch or okay. whatever. Okay, no. holy cannoli! Ten minutes in, let's. What does it matter anymore? My my request video or my um damage video oh, was yeah. two hours, and I was like, holy oh, cannolis! My, so my contact is like freaking out right now, I, I which is why I'm like, you, you know, like, like I'm sniffing because yeah. like my eyes, and also I'm on like zero hours of sleep right now. But yeah, she was in California for a wedding. Yeah. So. All right, so we're gonna start with requests. Um, yeah. Remember, just a screenshot. Maybe I'll do some also some more hats. Yeah, let's Either. let's let's try to move the hats. So a do you lot still of have some at home from Closet Cleanout? And this does have a little chain. Um, oh, I do. They're on eBay. Oh, okay. Right now. Um, um, yeah, so I'll bring those for next time. I love that one. I do, too. Those are the older ones. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That's all such a... Yeah, so I was in California for a wedding. My friend got married, um, and it was it was unbelievable. It was in the middle of the redwoods. She did that while I was watching the dogs. Yeah, I didn't have to. So our mom, I which I think we've introduced Maggie on here. Have we? I don't um, know. This is a velvet, I mean, well, velvet beaded. Maybe on. Um, like so our mom's now. dog Maggie. Um, she doesn't watch this. Do we need her friends watch this? Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, no. We were just, I was just saying that um, Sarah, you know, g got her third dog, Chloe, who we introduced. Um, this is missing the chain. But it is month, really, really pretty. But our mom asked um, if, if we could watch Maggie. And I was like, well, I'm in California. Um, and Sarah was like, I'll do it. And so, sweet Sarah. This has a little bit of bead loss. Well, no, had, because she had four dogs. She had, so she had canceled her trip before I had gotten Chloe. So she wasn't going to Texas anymore. And this, she actually, she, she, she fell and she's fine, but she fell and she was very sore. And so she, you know what? This has too much bead loss too. This, don't request this. Um, and, um, and so, you know, obviously, I'm going to be like, yeah, you know, like, I got you. So, I went and I got Maggie. And we love Maggie. Maggie's our sister, you know. Yeah. Because. Maggie May. Our, our mom will be like, Sister Sarah, Sister Karen. And we're like, Mom, stop calling us that. Um, so, But it's really sweet. It's really cute. And, um, you know, Maggie is just, I... You know, I have a Schnauzer and a Dachshund who are both almost five, and they're 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 self sufficient. Like, I mean, they just they go in and out, they do their own thing, they play. They're they're crate trained and they love their crate. So I'll be like, "Hey, go to bed," and they like run to their crate. Or I'm like, "Hey, I'm running errands," and they run to their crate. And they're like, "Cool, let's nap." And um, and you know, and Chloe is proving to be really good. Um, you know, she still is kind of nipping and stuff. So Maggie's what like a little over a year. Yes. And uh, she's a COVID puppy, okay? And she's an only dog. And it was it was a time. I think, again, this weekend in that video, I think I said, if I look exhausted, it's because I haven't slept. Did you show the tap at the um, needlepoint person? No, no, I didn't. I didn't show the one, I think. Um, and um, she just, she's, she's you know, she, she's not used to multiple food bowls. So there was, you know, a lot of food aggression. And she, um, she's, she's real chatty. She's real chatty. Um, and it was just, it was a lot. Four dogs is a lot. I think definitely if I thought, oh, we have three. What's one more? Um, no, we're done. We're done. I'm happy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fulfilled with my little pack. And we just have the one mashed potatoes but he was at daycare and we were in california and he bonded with a puppy that they were fostering 
And it was really hard for us to say, oh, you know, to pull, to be like, oh yeah, sure, keep her on hold because she's up for adoption. And thankfully she did get adopted because I really didn't want to have to come to that. Um, what, it was funny. Come to that where... How mom was like, I'm not okay with two big dog visits. Oh, I know. I'm like, settle down. <laughs> it's like a little... Happy. And it's like, his Mash is not a dog. He doesn't jump. He doesn't bark. He really just keeps to himself. And so I'm kind of like, what are we doing wrong? It's... You don't even know Mash is there. I'm gonna... I need to blow my nose. Excuse Aww. me. Did you get sick on the plane? No, it's really my, um... How do you not get sick on a plane? You know what's what's foolish is having to... Like, like, like if people are nervous... What, what, what was it? Man, I wish I could remember the specifics of this, but it was like... Someone's going to visit someone and they were like... Yeah, it's cool, but quarantine for two weeks beforehand. Like this is recently, and um, and and then oh, it was my mom. It was my mom, so she was going to visit, and um, and so they were like, you know, quarantine for two weeks. And um, I told her I was like, yeah, I was like, like I mean, I get it, I guess, but first of all, they're all vaccinated. I mean, they're old. Like they all got the vaccine when it first came out. And but I told her I was like, but like you're about to go through like a dirty airport mm -hmm. and like be on a dirty airplane. Guys, I used to fly for work like every other week. I'd be gone for like three or four days. I was constantly sick. Constantly. I would take what? airborne. Real quick, I don't know what you've shown. So I haven't gonna, shown those. Gonna... I, I, I was always sick. I always had like a cold and it sometimes like morphed into more because of all the friggin' it's so dirty to fly. And I'm nervous because Ryan just got back from Arizona and... And he's, well, he's tired, but I think he's just tired of life in general. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who is it? Who is it? Who, who is it? Not crying themselves to sleep. Um, I keep knocking my head. Oh, you guys are going to be so happy. Or maybe, that? no, we did. Um, so <gasps> I, I found. We, gave that. we did. We gave it to somebody and I found another. It was underneath here and I was like, <gasps> okay, so someone is going to be very happy. You know, we gave it to, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you want me, want me to show it? Well, so we gave it, we gave it, it was it was a new subscriber who got it last month. It was yeah. one of the things she had written about in her profile. But Heather had requested it too. Do you want me to not? Who had, yeah, I, I would rather, well, you can show it. If Heather decides that she doesn't want it, then Sarah, you can else. just cut this out. Oh. If you want. Yeah, I guess we could. Kidding! I got so excited. See. Okay. That. Well, no. Go ahead and show oh, it. Well, Just show it. It's fine. It's fine. No, because I don't. Is it making it longer? I don't want anyone to get excited. Okay. Okay. Shut up. I'm Karen. not gonna. I'm not gonna edit. It. You know, um, I'm kind of like um, um, the turban. Um. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, it, he Heather, also, the, sometimes that does happen. The, where we're well, like, the woman, Heather, the woman who, you know, basically, you know, put us in contact with, you know, the woman who sold us all these hats. She, Heather's watching this and she's going to be like, she, <laughs> she had requested it. She had requested it too. And we really went back and forth because you know, we just like giving Heather whatever she requests because we're like, girl, we owe you. And, um, but this other, the new subscriber just, I, I couldn't, I, we, could, we couldn't not give it to her. Heather got another hat that she wanted. But Heather, if you want the, the um, another Death Becomes Her Hat. The Death Becomes Her Hat. Then let us know. Is this some full for her? Um, stay. I think I've shown these before, but I'm just going to go ahead and show them again. Look at this. It's a shoe. God, there's so many hats up here, but I am worried about the travel it's an them. avon after Whoa. this one has some damage it's a dog us. that opens up and you can put your pills in there <laughs> it's a camel so cute. a camel Sarah knows her animals. and it opens up and you can put one small pill in there not all the pills. Not all of them. Um. <laughs> oh, well, chocolate brown with with satin and velvet. 
And this is black velvet. Where are we at? What time? We We're are only at, at 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Wow, we've only been showing stuff for 10 minutes. That's nice. Um, I don't think we have, oh, I didn't pull any scarves, but that's okay. We just, you know, um, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go into the next room. Let me make sure there's nothing else. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's do belts. Hold on. So like, oh like, yeah. So we have lots of belts. Some of you have requested belts, but there's a belt. We have a lot of these braided belts. Um, we have some leather belt. I mean, you can kind of see the patterns. We're slowly going through the belts. And if you want to just screenshot and then just write the description of it, of what you like. All right. Clothing. Time. Time. Ready. Um, yeah, that it, it now it's gone up to 90 degrees. We said, you know, it was a cool 72, and that's how quickly Florida weather works. Um, clothing. Okay, so I'll start. Yeah, so um, I'll be starting with, with blouses. So like Sarah said, if you are a Marie and you see something that you like in this blouse section, nice. let us know, and we'll go from there. This is a white pleated. Oh, it's similar to, like, the one that I'm wearing. This is a little bit similar to the one I'm wearing. Except it's long. It is long. All right. How, how about some blouses? Some blouses. It's a bright pink. Love this one. Oh, my gosh. It's like a marble with olives and browns and purple paisley short sleeves. And this one's got, like, like pastel-looking balloons almost. But they're not balloons, but they kind of look like, or maybe amoebas. Teeny tiny little skirt. It does have pockets. This is more of a modern polka dot skirt. It has kind of like an underlay that makes it poof out. Mm -hmm. Get your fall clothes ready. Cute. All right, some Hawaiian. And so actually for those for request, because if they don't get requested, I'm going to steal them for my skeletons. Funny! You know you can still do that. These have been in our well, closet for I, a really I long took time. some that I thought were ugly, but I like all of these. So if I saw some and I was like, this I don't longer. really want that to get damaged, then... I put it over here. But I took the ones that I was like, no one's going to want these. Those are the ones that I yeah. still like. So I'm debating. So um, uh, last year I did this to the inside of my house where I um, took all of the Halloween decorations and made them into Christmas decor. So like I put Santa hats on my skeletons and, um, and spiders and I made like a Christmas tree. Like I have a pink small Christmas tree that I put spiders over and... Um, and I was a little bummed because, um, I was just noticing on the internet that people were doing that to their outside. And I'm wondering if I should do that this year, you know, cause like I have the skeleton hands coming out of the ground and like grasping, you know, like purple and black flowers. And I could change that into poinsettias or candy canes or candy canes, but I don't want to, I don't know. Like, I think it just depends on how much you like Christmas. Like I love my Christmas decorations, you know? Yeah. And Lowe's is selling blow molds like um santa and reindeer blow molds yeah uh, like the vintage ones because i have been stocking you've probably seen it on ebay that i've been looking at those and uh, but <gasps> speaking of christmas i'm nervous i'm nervous to buy them over ebay just because um you just it's it's a lot of money if you if you've ever looked up um christmas time blow molds for decorations you know they're 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 pretty they're pricey and, um, and so I just don't, I don't want to get it and then be like, wow, this is like way more wear than I thought. Yeah. Um, so I've just been waiting and I might just go ahead and just buy them new at, um, at Lowe's. At Lowe's. Yeah. And then I did get my 12 foot skeleton, but I only got one, although I am in, so, you know, everybody on Facebook marketplace had them at like a thousand dollars and I was like, mm, it's Ooh, not going to happen. Yeah. And, um, 
So I got one for significantly less than that, but I had emailed pretty much everybody, I emailed like 20 people who were selling it for between like 600 and a thousand. And I just said, Hey, I had two of these. My order got canceled. So I'm being really picky with how much I pay. I was like, if you don't get the thousand dollars that you're wanting and you want to unload it, let me know. And I'll give you, you know, I think I had said 500 at first. Yeah. So then I found somebody and, and I got one and, um, and now I've had five of the Facebook marketplace people finally email me back like two weeks later and they're like, Oh, Hey, we can make a deal. And I'm, I'm like, no, I already got one. I was like, I could use another. I was like, I wanted two. I was like, but I'm not willing to pay no above cost. I was like, I'll give you three fifty. I was like, that gives you like 20 bucks for yeah. your time. Um, for me to get it out of, it's huge guys. It's, it barely fits. I have, I have a Ford Expedition with an extended cab. It barely fits in really? my car. Yeah. I had to, um, I mean the kids' car seats can still stay so in there. You have to get it shipped. But it, well, I, and so, cause that's what I was telling Ryan. I was like, I really feel like, first of all, you have to have a yard big enough for this decoration. Okay. It's, it's massive. You have to have, um, the money to spend on it it's not cheap and you have to have the want and the love of Halloween. It's a weird decoration and you have to have a car big enough to transport it unless you're willing to rent something. These are all factors that I feel like this, it, this is not a good flippable item. I don't know why these flippers bought all these up Yeah. because the market for people wanting them and, and being willing to make the sacrifice to go and get it, I feel like is really limited. And I was right because now they're People emailing are... me. Yeah. And one girl I think might do it. Um, but she's being weird about it. Cause she's like, well, I could just take it back to the store and get the money back on my card. And then you could just be there at the same time and buy it then. And I'm like, that, no. I was like, that's, that seems way more complicated. She's local. Yeah. She lives in, um, I think Leesburg. So she's like 10 minutes from me. And um, which she's, she's one of the ones who I first reached out to because I had to drive like an hour and 20 minutes or something to go and get the skeleton that I finally got for the price I wanted. And I'm like, and she, and she said, oh, I'm so glad that you got one. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I had to drive further than I wanted to because you were the one that was like my first pick. And she's like, yeah, I never thought that I was going to get a thousand dollars. And I was like, cool. Cause like, and also I'm like, don't do that. That's a huge markup. I get it. I get flipping and or not, you're not even flipping it. You're just, you know, but well, you are, it, you know, it's like gay flipping. And I'm honestly like, like, I don't agree with it with toys. And I just, I honestly don't even mind it. I just don't like it when it's done with something that's so ridiculous. Yeah. That's like, come on, like, just give it to me. You're not going to find anybody else. You're not going to find anybody else in this small pocket of Florida that's willing, that's willing to drive to, to you that has like the cash ready, the yard to put it in. And, and the car to take it, just give it to me. So if you guys were thinking of doing this, don't, it's not a good, it's not a good idea. And like when people do it with Christmas toys, that makes me really Oh my sad. gosh. Do you remember the first time I ever saw it was with Tickle Me Elmo. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm sure. And Tamagotchis, I think ended up being weird. Oh, the life size Elsa. My God. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah. I'm not envious of. Well, I already know what I'm getting the kids. Do you want to know what I'm getting Harrison, which is going to be great because it's going to cost me hardly anything and what? he's going to think that it's amazing. Um, so my, my kids have cell phones. They have Brian and I's old cell phones and, um, and they're both already on my cell phone plan because I'm neurotic and I want to be able to contact them at any moment. And, um, and also because of the pandemic, they FaceTime their friends and, and more than they see them. And so Harrison has been asking for a new phone and we're like, no, you're going to have this phone until high school, like yeah, whatever. And, um, but I am due for an upgrade and, um, but I really don't need one. And, um, mm. and so I'm going to give him my upgrade, but I'm going to pretend like I'm getting it for my husband. I'm going to be like, I don't know anything about phones. I was like, if you could choose a phone, what phone would you want? And he's going to like, chill because this is your dad's Christmas present. And like what color and, then, and everything. Yeah. And then, and then I'll have Ryan set it all up Christmas Eve. And so Harrison will open it Christmas morning and it's going to cost me like, <sighs> I don't know what, 15 bucks a month or something. I'm going to get Harrison Tic Tacs. You should. He loves Tic Tacs. That's what I did last he year. And he skirt. freaked out. He freaked yeah. out. Well, we just put in a, Sarah, I was like, Sarah, where do we get them now at this point? She's like, I don't know. I was like, honestly, she's like, he loves Tic Tacs and he loves something else. Um, bubble yum and stuff. And, um, I think I got him some other stuff, but I just put it all in like a huge box and I like, 
decorated it crazily but then yeah. he when he opened it the squeal that came from him I was like, oh, oh man, it, it's not going to yeah. be this easy forever. So I'm going to take advantage. Mm -hmm. But well, and here's like Julia, like V bucks and stuff like yeah. that. Juliet still likes stuff. She still will probably ask for like you know the plastic crud that I'm going to have to be like, oh no, it's sold out. Harrison is not into stuff, but he is into expensive electronics. Um, so it's like he won't. I don't. He won't. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Um, he won't, something. it's like, he won't, he'll ask for like one thing. And we decided we got him a PC for his 10th birthday and, and we got a great deal because my husband's brother, um, built it. They built it. They, Evan funny. came over and he built the PC with Harrison. So Harrison was opening up all the pieces Tainted. of this PC that oh, he was going to be Louise. building. And he didn't know what it was. And when he finally opened up the monitor, which was like the 15th present or something, he, and we have it on camera and he's like, is this, is this? And we were like, it's a PC and those are all the pieces and uncle Evan's coming over and he's going to build it with you. And, um, and Harrison, we have it on camera that he's like, he starts crying <laughs> and he's just like, crying. and I was like, yes. And I was just watching that the other day with Ryan and I was like, I don't think we're ever going to have that again, but we might have I mean, it with the phone. We might, we might get it. I, um, I wrapped up like 20 lottery scratch off tickets. I wrapped them individually for his 10th birthday. Yeah. And he had a lot of fun opening that. I remember he's, he's good at opening. Um, he's I remember my opener. aunt gave me like two, like I think I was I can't remember what I was trying like ten or something, and she gave me like twenty dollars, but they were in one dollar bills, and they were all rolled up and had like a ribbon tied around it. And I remember thinking, oh, that is the coolest gift ever! Like, look at this. This is this is just so amazing. Um, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I do have to figure out what to get the kids, and I guess Juliet's birthday is coming up. Oh my gosh, that's right. Oh, and we are gonna this have we're gonna long. have our Halloween party on the same night you're having yours. Why? Uh, well, we're not gonna come to yours anyways because we're not gonna drive here for like an hour. It and, takes thirty um, minutes to well, get to my house. Because here's the thing: Evan and Megan can't come on the thirtieth, and you guys weren't gonna be able to come on the thirtieth anyways. Uh -huh. And um, and we're just we're just worried because parents are if you have kids. You know, parents can be notoriously last minute cancelers. Um, and so what we don't want is to plan this whole party and like the day of parents are like, oh no, you know, Ned is sick or oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So we wanted to have it on a day where we knew that we had like for sure people, people who would be coming that the kids would be, because it's just for the kids. Like we're not, you know, I don't know. I mean, I might ask Chrissy, we'll see, but I... You know, they they just they really want to do it. And Harrison has three friends at school now that he's excited about. And so when he said, "Oh, well, I have like three people that I could invite," because he he has kind of a, a hard time making that's fine. We've got friends. people coming in from out of town to come to our party. Yeah, I know. That's right. why that's why we're not going. Because yeah. I well, I told Karen I was like, Can Ryan and I will come, but we'll stay in your guest room because we live like half an hour away. And first of all, we don't want to Uber, but we're not going to um, drink and drive and. Yeah, but we have got some of Joe's friends. Yeah, so we can't stay in there coming room. in from out of town. So our house is actually going to be pretty packed. But I'm excited. Yeah, I'm go fun. I'm getting dry ice for the very first time. I'm a little um nervous about it. So I have to read Sooner. up. So if you have any like like tips on dry ice and because like um I just want to have it in like the front area of the house this as you is, walk in and this is a blouse but it also comes with orange pants it's the miss shaheen dead stock you can see the pants are a little bit flared super cute the only time i ever remember using dry eyes was with aunt judy yeah and this has a small little jacket that goes with it just wanted to show you guys how it looks separately um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, um, I also, in lieu of a fog machine, because I've been reading up on fog machines and stuff and, 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 and it's just every single one that I read is, yeah, this is great, but it gets hot so fast. It gets hot so fast. And I was like, the last thing I need is for 
an, an accidental fire to break out. So I just want to avoid that at all costs. And then she'd have to say, I read the reviews and it said it got hot, but I just didn't believe it. But I just that. didn't believe it. So, um, so it's I just, just like a little gray jacket and it's more modern. It's from Saks. Oh, and then I'm really excited because this is, yeah, this is like a slate gray. So it's just coming out pretty light. This is the belt. Um, I saw this tutorial on TikTok on how to make um, black candles, um, you know, as opposed to spending, you know, $12 on each one of them. And, you know, you just take pool noodles and you cut them and then you put um, hot glue around it and then you spray paint it, blah, 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 blah. And so I did that and then I realized I wanted to also do it in our house because I put those all outside. And then I ordered black pool noodles and then I'm gonna cut those tonight and create like an entire like huge thing because we've got this like opening in our living room with just like, oh, like just a little bit of space. Like if you live in Florida and you live in like kind of a newer build, or anything that's after like 2000, you will all know what I'm talking about. It's like these, you know, the weird, what, what is that called? Cause mom's house has it too. What? You know, like, like that, that like just indent. In it's my where you stick room. like plants. Plants and stuff. But like, I don't, I hate that. I hate like clutter. So, but I like to decorate that space um, during the holidays. And um, we showed this last time. How did this not find a home? I should think it just doesn't fit. It's so cute. And also, it's sleeveless, right? This is um, a suit. Yeah. Um, but I'm decorating that whole area up there in these with these black pool noodles to make it appear that it's just, you know. Sorry, go on. A, you know. I know you have some of these in closet clean out. Yeah. The dead stock. So these are things but, that I don't think you guys might have seen them in closet clean out, but it's it's dead stock items that are good to go. So yeah. Sale items. So this is a red dress with a little jacket. And it is short sleeved. And this one has a little jacket as well. Because you can't really tell. But this is, I believe we showed this one last month. As... I think that was in the closet clean out. Did you take all the tags off? Yeah. Oh. Because it's, it's been long enough now that. Yeah. This is a dress and it is short sleeved comes with the jacket and the belt. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and if, if you're, if you're like modern, like large, extra large, extra, extra large, I would definitely watch the closet clean out video. When is it going to be? Um, it's going to be October 9th. It's a Sunday. So either that's October 9th or 10th. I believe it's the 9th. Um, but it's, the, it's the second Sunday of the month. We, you know, we always tell people, you know, we service all sizes and we have a ton of dead stock items that are, that are larger sizes. And, um, none of our girls who would typically fit into those items, it's, I guess it's just not their, like their style. It's not their color. Um, so we've just been sitting on them now for almost three months and, um, and we didn't want to put them in a clean out sale just because, Finding those larger sizes can be really rare, especially dead stock items. And so we've been holding on to them, but um, it's been three months and we're not taking on any new Lorraines right now. So, um, so it's time to show people who may not be subscribers. This is an adorable little green dress. Um, this is detachable. Belt is detachable. Super small. Extra, yeah, extra. I love this dress. This is an extra small as well. Mm -hmm. nice this is a nice thick material. This would be really great for Christmas. It is dead stock. It comes with the original belt. There, just get rid of that belt. And I mentioned this in 
Weird. The damaged video. With the estate sale that we went to, we got multiples of a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you see stuff for request, you might also see it in a damage sale because maybe one of the mm -hmm. items, the zipper doesn't work or it has holes. And you'll also see it in a closet clean out sale because maybe we got like 10 of them and we need to get them out of here. Yeah. So, yeah. Because that red dress was one of the items that was in the damage sale because the one that was there yeah. was a little bit damaged. This is a three piece velvet suit. This is a maxi velvet skirt, the blouse, and the vest. It is like a, like, I mean, I guess you could say navy. Um, um, I'm gonna this lift hard. this Hold up. Lift yeah, it, this is my favorite. We've had this, so this would be like the belt that goes around it. This is the blouse, mm -hmm. and you can see that it's got like balloon sleeves. It just has a super Esmeralda vibe. And then this is the skirt. Oh. See, I can see Alyssa wearing this. Yeah. But it's it's gorgeous. It's so sweet. I love this. Oh, and I love this one too. Man, oh man. I wonder if this would even fit her. I can never remember anyone's version of this. Are these things that you've shown? Yes. Okay. Yes, so everything on this side. And then um um I you're seeing duplicates because these are from last month. I can't remember if we gave these out or we I think we gave one of those out. This is one of the items that we have a few of. And then we also have a few of, of this one. Yeah. Yeah. So that a one. A similar style and um to the Shaheen dress. Super pretty. And then I have some vests. We have a denim vest. I have a sweater vest that's longer. I have a navy kind of wool vest. And this mm -hmm. is for tall. And we have like a light blue pinstripe. Love those vests. So what are we at? 44. I say we show five more minutes worth of stuff. Okay. And call it because that'll be this is a lot. when yeah. I edit out the us uh, stumbling in here trying to. <laughs> oh, man. Do um, everything. So I'm going to show some of these on the end because these are. Yeah. Older. Um, older, older stock. I'm actually just going to hand them to you when I'm done. So this one is a gorgeous little house dress. Does this have pockets? Can you feel? Pockets. Pockets. Okay. Super, super cute. Another little fall house dress. This one has pockets as well. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this stuff we have shown, but... I just, I haven't done... Look how cute. ...laundry because... um. We, we don't just don't, any. we don't have room because yeah. I've been wanting, we, to, in order to see what all we have. So I think we've shown you guys the, the guest room, which is, was, was chock full of the clothing from the estate. And now our laundry room is the room that is chock full because, you know, Sydney has still been sending stuff. We've still been purchasing, you know, items when we're out, but we haven't bothered to, to go through them and wash any of them because mm -hmm. I wanted to get the front room cleaned out. So, um, which we finally have pretty much, pretty much done. The couch still has some clothes on it, but anything that that we know we can use, this is modern. Um, anything we know that we can use is out and on the racks. And um, I love this dress. The colors, yeah. Well, and just the, just well, the, um, I just think it's gonna be really, really flattering on the right person with the buttons and. You know what, let's just, yeah. Just keep doing that. Let's make here. Um, pink floral flutter sleeves. Yeah. And and you know, again, if you're a Marie and you see something that you love, um, you know, a few of these items, especially the ones that I'm showing now, we've had for quite some time. So definitely reach out and you know, when you when you request a clothing item. Just give us your measurements and um, 
you know. Because we are looking mm -hmm. to downsize mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, and just Pockets. kind of make things a little bit more manageable. I gotta love pleats. What next? What next? Um, um, here, do this one. And this one. This is an extra this small. One. Ooh, this one. And this comes with the original belt as well. dress it is okay here pull more and so this is you know, like a maxi cream it is sleeveless and then it comes with a little lace jacket super cute pink fit and flare And this one has a cute belt. I feel like we're super quiet today. I well, I think just just now we're super quiet. I feel like we've been talking. This one comes with the original belt as well. Um, um, a few more if you want to. Sh and these will be the last ones, or you want to keep going? I don't know if she's gonna, I think we might have shown this one last month. But it's so cute for fall. It's like a little jumper. And this one ties in the back. I love this one. This one has a tie belt. Like, I know this isn't oh, weather appropriate, but I also like this mini green one. I don't mind not showing weather because people in Cal, I mean, in Florida, oh, yeah. we're still, I mean, I'm taking off my sweater after this and I'm wearing a sleeveless jumper. So, okay, here, just a couple more of the ones that. And so we stopped here, right? Yes. Oh, I wanted to show this one too because this one's so pretty. And it's so, what was the waist on this? Like a 24? Yeah, it's small. It is. We both want it, but we can't fit into a 24 inch waist, but you can see the little buttons. It is so pretty. All right, guys, so these are going to be the last, the last few. So you know what to do. Um, take a screenshot of all the items you love. If you're finding that your email is too large because of pictures, just put it into a grid. Um, you can use an app for that, um, but make sure that everything is in one email. Send it to info at redbirdvintagebox.com with your full name in the subject line. Make sure your full name, um, because a lot of your emails don't match your, yeah. your name. Um, cool. And um, then again, the closet clean out video, which will have dead stock, um, and some older items as well, because I did pull and I put those on the rack. And I've got yeah, some from previous closet cleanouts that have been kind of sitting at my home that I'm going to refresh. Um, and then, okay, so we're on the first. So on Sunday, are we going to be Halloween pre-made boxes? There are just going to be a limited quantity, like 10 to maybe 15. So um, I know that you guys are really excited about that, but just keep that yeah. in mind that we're going to do all that we can. If you're requesting a spooky box this month, Try to grab a Halloween box. Try to grab a Halloween box because um, um, we, we, we only have, have so much inventory. Yeah. So if everyone's requesting, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can, like I'm sending you, sending you like. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have some spider. extra stuff, but we've just learned that. Oh, and the, well, the scarf boxes this month have a back brooch. I don't know if we have extras of those or not. Well, I was thinking that maybe we could include that. So if, if anybody is requesting a, a spooky brooch, a um, spooky brooch. And also just a really big thank you to you girls, because we, we let you know about three months ago and it was when we got to that estate sale, that that estate sale really did 
a lot to save, and, and I say save the business, it, it's not so much that, it's that, it's that things are just, prices are just really going up, and um, like everything, it's like, it's like just COVID started hitting the business after all the prices started going up, and we had made a couple really big purchases, and it mm -hmm. was really scary for a couple months, and um, and just with y'all's help with the sales and um, just everything, I just you know we're just we're we're back we're back in a pretty good place, and um, I just want to say thank you yeah, because thanks for your support and yeah. sharing. A lot of you yeah. have been you know sharing your videos, and you know we offer uh, coupon codes you know as a thank you, and then we kind of keep track of your codes and. So if you haven't yet gotten a coupon code and you're wanting to, you don't have to share, you don't have to put it on a video or anything. You don't you have do to post friends, or anything. You can just text it to them. It's not like there's a requirement that you have to like post your box or anything. But I will say if you are sharing and you're wanting to get those people using your code, the best time to share is going to be like the first or the second of the month. Um, and I know a lot of you like to do your unboxings, the, um, the um last weekend or well so. yeah like, like after you get it you know because that's when everyone's kind of doing them um but what i will say is that the girls who are getting the the codes used are the ones that are posting right when we're about to open subscriptions or right after we've opened subscriptions because what happens is we open them and we do like a flood of posts and um and we're like well what is this all about and they go on youtube or instagram or wherever and they look at it and if you've just posted your video yours will be one of the first ones to pop up so, um, you know, it just... And also, because we close subscriptions on the 15th. Yeah. Um, sometimes earlier, depending on um, stock. So um, that's just one thing to think about is that, you know, you don't want to send your folks to the website and they see sold out. And that's just because, you know, it's hard to take on new subscribers yeah. in the middle of the month when most items we request have already, you know, gone out and all of that. And we just so. need a break because it's not like, you know, well, I am starting to take off weekends, but... We never used to. And because um, we just, we worked, you know, we worked like the first through like the 25th. And then we had about five days where we kind of just laid low. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Send in your request. Happy October. Um, we hope you have an amazing month. And yeah. See you. See you later. on the flip side. <laughs>